Look at this. Whoa! He's lunging! He's oh my god! god. Stop, stop! Stop! This guy! Bomb. And there we go. One egg at a time. 30. Bold iguana egg! Solid. Oh my god! Can't even pop it on concrete. <laughs> Not bad, actually. Let's catch him up. Woo! With catch him up fishing with Zach Ketchum. Look at this fish! Catch him up! Come on, come on, come on. Come on. over here <laughs> someone's enjoying the swings let me give myself a little bit of length ah. this girl might be laying eggs in the playground look at this thing look how close I'm getting is this a, this is not a nest check this out this iguana might be laying eggs in the playground. There's a hole right here. This might be an iguana nest. Check this out because she is not running away. What is she doing? Look at this thing. She's either just starting or she already laid and it collapsed. Why is this thing not running away? Why is this? All right. Uh-uh. see. I don't know why it's not taking off. But get ready, get ready. Get on your horse, because you know we're going to be running if this thing takes off. Oh, it's good. What the heck? What a scoop, though. Why did it not? Hold on, hold on. That's Why did it insane. not run, though? Wow. Why did it not run? Let's go inside the playground. What the heck is going on? Hold on. What? Hold on, we gotta put this thing, I gotta put this thing in a, in a cooler. Why did, first of all, <laughs> yeah, that was a nice scoop. Oh, check it out, look, look. I think what, what's going on is that this thing, look, it's trying to lay eggs. It might have already laid eggs. There's a hole, this is what these things do. They dig under the foundations of all of these places, right? Under streets, and then the streets and the concrete, it collapses. But, there's a hole right here let me bring this a little closer. This is a female, and I think she might have eggs inside her right now. But it looks like she was digging, and it probably collapsed because this is all loose sand. She might be new to laying eggs. She might already have laid them. I don't know, I don't know. It's springtime, guys, and this iguana is definitely female and trying to lay eggs in inside the park. Iguanas will poop everywhere. The little kids will be playing with it. You have your three-year-old eating iguana poop. Look at this thing. Look at this. Whoa! <laughs> you can actually see where this iguana has been. Look at the trails. Tail trail. Tail trails and hands. Let me get my hand away. But look, follow me, follow me, guys. Look at the trails. They go all the way back here. This is where it came in from. Check this out, check this out. Look, this line right here, look at, the, look at the hands. It came in from there, it went all the way here, follow me, follow me, all the way over here. She went all the way over here to where we were messing around, we messed up the trails, but that's how you know these guys are starting to breathe. It's already that time and I've seen a lot of iguanas. They've been pooping all over my backyard at home, all over my kayaks and stuff. This is a solid, solid female. But I'm pretty sure that there's eggs inside this female. We're gonna take her home, make a sandwich out of her. We're not gonna waste it. I mean, we caught her. And you're not allowed to release the animal after you catch her. So, you're gonna be a sandwich and you're gonna be some egg, egg drop soup. She's loaded, dude. She's loaded, dude. Loaded full of eggs. Sick. Guys, we have our utensils right here. We had to keep that iguana fresh. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know, but... Iguana? Iguana. That's what we're having. I know I told you about the omelet. We just worked out. I told him we we're gonna have some omelets. But I got some iguana for you, my man. We got some in the fridge. Can you please get them out of the fridge for me? Yeah, get that boy out of the fridge for me. Get that boy out of the fridge. We're gonna get some protein meat. Oh no! This guy! Oh my god! Ow, 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 ow! This thing has crazy teeth. So not cool. Yeah, not cool at all. He's lunging! He's oh my god! Stop! 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 I'm about to say oh, some bad words. Funny is on you. Fuck. Okay, thank God. 
This iguana is going crazy right now. Dude, <laughs> were you worried about this little iguana scratching steel? Let's see. Look, let's see. No, no, get, Put the hand on. No, 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 no. Come, on. Come on, man. Yo, I just came for some protein. This guy. Let's see Yo, stop. 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 What we're going to do is humanely euthanize it just with the cold temperature. It's going to put it to sleep. Then we're going to take the eggs out of her. And we're going to try them. How did this happen? Stop. Yo, 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 stop. Yo, come on. Come on. Stop, stop, stop. Hey. I'm about to hurt Joey. It's okay. <laughs> Why I'm really about to hurt you. Why? I'm only the one holding the camera. Okay, so we found out today that iguanas can't scratch the <laughs> Sorry, I have a leg twitch. Ah, these claws, dude. Crazy claws. Okay. All right, mom. We're gonna see what you taste like. All right, guys. So we humanely ice this iguana, and then we remove the eggs where there's no blood. So this video won't get ripped down, so you guys can actually enjoy how to prepare your invasive species. Now this is helping Florida more than anything, guys. Remember, we want to utilize these creatures that we do hunt, even though this wasn't much of a hunt. This thing was just about to lay eggs, as you can see here. Check this out. So these eggs are literally just about to pop out. Bomb. It was very, very gent gentle on that sack. Boom. That's what they look like. We already got one out. One just fell out, actually. Boom. Just like that. Little wrench. And those are iguana eggs. Yes, they're soft. What we're going to do here is we're going to collect them, each and every one. And that's that. We're going to boil a few. I already had them scrambled and I didn't like them scrambled. So I'm gonna try to do something a little bit different. So this is basically your neighborhood grocery store just in the wild. So being very careful, we can actually remove these eggs without popping them. Just that little tiny cut and bomb. And there we go, one egg at a time. How cool is that guys? And now look at all these eggs we have. Out of one female, all of these would grow into hundreds of baby iguanas. Now we're gonna remove every single egg one at a time. We're gonna prepare them right here or just pile them up right here anyway and then we're gonna prepare them and see if they taste any better when they're boiled. All right, let's count them. Let's see. We got three behind us. Let me go grab these three. Okay, they dry out pretty quick. They're already starting to harden and develop like a, a leathery feel while these are a little bit wet because I put a little water on them, okay? So let's see. Let's just go ahead and gather them up really quick and then we'll count them when we already have them in our hands. Put a little bit more water in there so they float to the top. Easier to collect. I think they'll float. No, maybe not. Actually, it looks like these guys are sinking. Look, interesting. I guess egg is heavier than water. In this case, just like a chicken. Interesting. Okay, and and that is all. We don't have any eggs left. That'll be that. Okay, iguana meat. We still got the legs, and we have all of these eggs. Crazy, crazy. Now, if you let them sit here, they will harden up very, very quickly. Like I said, this iguana was just about to give birth. We actually, like, saved the day. Like, seriously, look at all of these iguana eggs that were just about to be in the wild. That's ridiculous. This one's already hardening up. It's pretty crazy how quickly they can harden up. While this is like, almost like a water balloon, this one was out for just a little bit, maybe a minute, and it's already feeling a little bit leathery. It's pretty cool. All right, let's count them up. Let's see it. Ready, Farley? Farley's the pharmacist, the pill counter. Here, five. Not pills. <laughs> <laughs> Ten. Much. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Oh, oh, oh. Thirty. Wow. Thirty-five. And we popped, I think, two. So this would have been 37 eggs. That's insane. 37 iguana eggs. Fresh iguana eggs. Now, if we refrigerate these, these will be fine for a while. And also, if we were to just leave these as is and incubate them, we would have iguanas. Because that iguana was just alive, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so this thing was just about to lay eggs. It was literally digging the hole for its nest. So these guys, 
If they they are fresh, they're like chicken eggs right now. This saying. is what you would get in the grocery store. As soon as it comes out, yeah. they throw them on ice or in the refrigerator and make sure that they're not fertilized and that's that. Crazy, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna boil some water and we're gonna try to boil some iguana eggs. I've never seen it done, but we'll see how they turn out. Guys, we have our fresh iguana right here. We are definitely gonna eat her legs, her arms, and that beautiful tail. The tail is the best part. That's why it falls off and that's why predators enjoy it. But these eggs, believe it or not, it's only been, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. Remember, this iguana was put on ice water so she did not feel a thing when we humanely euthanized her, guys. Remember to do that. I don't like doing things that are too, too crazy. So, let's be humane. Yes. So, these are the eggs. Super hard. Look at this. Like rubber. Kind of crazy. They're starting to get rubbery. They're not rolling around. You know what I mean? Yes, yeah. Crazy. You can see this. If you look really close, you can kind of see the, the little air bubbles at the top and the yolk settling and this would be developing babies they would already be on their way but i want you to see what's inside them just so you guys know before we go ahead and uh oh yeah oh my goodness. go ahead and put them in the on the fryer just nothing but an egg so the yolk is actually there's more yolk to it than anything if you guys can see this right yeah. here there's more yolk to it than anything i'll get one more for you since we have quite quite a lot I'm gonna go ahead be very careful with this one more yolk than anything so there's not a lot of egg white to it it's mostly protein and that goes for a lot of the other reptilian eggs I've noticed that with pythons too so crazy right look at that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw these guys inside this boiling water we have some water boiling over here small small pot and we're gonna see what we can do. We're just gonna kind of harvest all of them together. Make sure they're not all sticking together like they like they do. We're gonna throw them right in that pot. That pot might not be big enough. We have this many eggs. I was not expecting this many. I knew she had a lot. I kind of had an idea that this iguana was gonna have a lot of eggs because she was digging and digging and we saw those tracks and we saw those burrows, but this is a lot more eggs than I thought that could fit in such a small iguana, I mean. This is a small, this is a young female. And for her to have this many eggs, this is not a big female. We've had females that are like four feet long. So this clutch of eggs with this size female, guys, it just goes to show you like- They're starting young. Yeah, they're starting young. You really, <laughs> you really have to get involved when you see these iguanas. Florida, it's a law that we take these iguanas out of the ecosystem. They do so much Man. damage. They dig under everything. They poop on everything. They destroy it's everything another. and the wildlife and eat all of our vegetation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by trying to make these things taste better and better. We know the tail meat tastes good, we know the legs taste good. Now hopefully this egg drop soup is gonna taste pretty good because when, I, when we cook it up just as is, it's like really, really fluffy and light, it's weird, I don't know. We'll see how these eggs taste. All right, we got a little bit of extra salt and I think we are ready to throw in some eggs. Guys, are you ready? I don't know. Back here for a reason. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just start popping. Guanas everywhere. No, let's check it out, guys. Say, I'm just gonna get a nice little handful, enough that I can fit in there, and save a few later. Okay, check this out, guys. Add one at a time. You guys ready? Whoop. Whoop. Interesting. I wonder how they react to the boiling water since they do have a leathery you know skin to them instead of a hard shell it's going to cover the bottom it might pop i don't know maybe i guess we're going to find out together huh i think that was the perfect amount of eggs huh look check that up nice <laughs> nice probably obviously wants a fresh one popped it in your mouth go ahead oh my god something else all <laughs> that's day. as fresh as it gets Sal buddy. come on bro come on we eat raw eggs all the time nothing wrong there's nothing wrong with the chicken there, come on. Gotcha, oh! Look at that, didn't even pop. Already, already <laughs> solid. Oh my God. Look at that, can't even pop it on concrete. <laughs> We're gonna see how the iguana eggs are doing, check it out. It smells like eggs. Yeah, I mean, they're just normal eggs. I've tasted them before. Oh wait, look at this one. What? They pop. Wait, what? Wait, I'm telling you that thing had like a big bubble on it. Look at this, hold on. Look at that bubble, can you see that? Yeah. What? And I lift it up? And it went away. Weird. And now it's back. 
It doesn't seem like it's good for your stomach. I don't know. See this one? Okay. So we're going to see if this is hard boiled or not, guys. Yeah, I was about to that. say. Who's it? Uh, I don't think so. I think we got to wait a little bit longer. Ouch. Oh my god. Okay, so it's like. It's like uh, not quite hard boiled. But it's like the yolk. It's just the egg yolk. There's nothing gross about this. It's just an egg. You got some pep though? No, it smells like just an egg. Smell it. Go ahead. I'm not going to do anything crazy. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. Second egg one. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you want to smell it, man? Go ahead. It's just, it's just a regular egg. Eat it, boy. Nah. It's not prepared yet. The chef will cut you more. Still has to throw the Danos on top. The Danos is coming. We're going to try it with just salt, though. Me? Oh, well, I'm going to try it. I think Mano will, too. Everyone who is a man in this house is going to try it. It is what it All is. All right. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, let's see the consistency of the eggs. Okay, okay. Soft boiled eggs. Yeah, that, that last one was soft boiled. You're right, Farley. Yeah. All right. Now let's see how this little egg feels. I know it's super hot. I really want to touch it, but I like it's still sandpapery. It's still leathery. Yeah. It's still leathery. Now let's see if we can. It still is kind of kind of soft. We still have the rest of our eggs boiling. Let's see how long will it take before it's a true hard-boiled egg, since it is a lizard egg. I kind of want to fork. I kind of want to fork really quick, guys. Hold on a second. All right. Let's see if we can dissect this egg properly. Okay. Oh, not too bad. It's just really tough to deal with since it's so hot. Okay. Let's give it a shot. Oh yeah, not too bad. It's better. Not too bad. That one. That's pretty hard boiled. That's pretty close. So I'd say. Probably 20 minutes. Yeah. Probably 20 minutes, because this is, uh, what, 15 minutes it's been? Just about, yeah. But the thing is with iguana eggs and reptile eggs in general, check this out. Just cut this in half. It's just yolk, man. There's no, there's no protein to it. I mean, that's all protein, but there's no, uh, there's no egg whites. It's just that yellow yolk. But it is pretty solid. We're going to give it an extra 10 minutes and see if we can get a solid hard-boiled iguana egg. Another few minutes have gone by. Let's see it, guys. Ooh. Come on. Let's see it. First time boiling them. Like I said before, we have tried these things, but this is the first time boiling them, so. Oh, it's still jiggly. Still jiggly. It still feels like it's gelatinous. I don't know if they ever will get hard. That's the thing. So let's check out. Check this one out. It kind of feels tough on that side. I don't know. Interesting, huh? Let's give it a <laughs> shot. You can still pinch it. Let's see. <laughs> oh. That I don't even know. Oh, it's pretty it's pretty solid. It's pretty pretty solid. Okay, that one was yeah. Pretty solid. That's almost a fully hard boiled egg. Almost. That is pretty solid. Let's chop it. See the density? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Not bad. Not bad. And I'm pretty sure the rest of this egg, if we continued to boil them forever, would probably be hard boiled all the way through. Or maybe not. I don't know. What do you guys think in the comments below? We're gonna give it a couple more minutes. And then we're just gonna start eating because I'm getting hungry. Boiled iguana eggs, my friends. Boiled iguana eggs. Let's get them all out. Delicious. Yeah, we're gonna let them sit there for a little bit. Interesting. So interesting. I've never seen anyone do this. And I think it's just pretty weird. I wonder if they're gonna taste better this way because guys, to be honest, the first time it just wasn't that good. You know, having them just like scrambled iguana eggs, it, they weren't that good. They were like, they were okay. It was just not the best. So I'm gonna dump out the water and we're gonna let them sit for a little bit and cool down. We're gonna give them a try. And you can feel that they're solid inside. Does that mean that some of these eggs have an iguana already developing inside them? 
or does that mean that they're going to make a delicious hard boiled morsel? So I'm going to bring one over here. This one feels really hard. This one feels hard too. All right, great. Check it out, guys. Zoom. Check it out, guys. Zoom into this. Let's give it a shot. Iguana eggs, hard boiled test. Oh yeah, that's oh, that's, yeah. that's nice. pretty hard boiled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I kept a lot of the gunk still in there. The gunk meaning the egg white. Oh yeah. All right. The, it seems like all the eggs are pretty much gonna look like that. Uh oh, Farley, go ahead. <sighs> go ahead. No knife needed with flour to fry. There you go. That's Farley's. You gotta eat that one. Uh, yeah, you touched it. You gotta eat it. You touched it, you gotta eat it, buddy. I got work tomorrow. I can't I'm eat sorry. stuff like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> gotta be true to myself. Gotta test it with just a little bit of salt. Salt and pepper only. Before we start throwing Danos, Danos makes everything taste good. So we'll be just tasting the seasoning and then I'll be biased. So Danos, you just chill to the side. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try it. I'm gonna try this one right here. Oh yeah, cut it in half. Ooh. You guys can see. Fresh out the egg, cut in half again by accident. Mm. It's just like, just like egg yolk. It's just egg yolk. It's like um, it's really, <clears throat> it's really minerally. It's just like, it's like egg yolk, except it's like um, like egg yolk and baby powder. That's the best way to explain it. <laughs> Come on, bro. It's not gonna kill you, bro. Don't be soft, bro. Come Don't on. Don't be soft, bro. Don't be soft. Don't be soft, bro. Give it a shot. Give, Give it a shot. Give it a shot, bro. Here, I got it. Here. You want to crack one open? You want to fork or anything? Eat the skin. It's the protein, boy. And there you go. There you go, Mano. There you go. You want some salt? No? Just no salt? You want to eat your eggs with no salt? You're more of a monster than I thought. It's like... It's like the, just the egg yolk, except with baby powder. I'm miss <laughs> right? <laughs> right? So is that what it tastes like or not? Um, yeah. Uh, did it's you not describe bad, it. Describe it. What would you? How would you describe it's like, it? It's a little chalky. It's a little chalky. Yeah, it's, it's chalky. Like, it's like egg chalk. Yeah. That's some nasty. He ate twice. No. Not bad. Yeah, one for me. Oh, you, so you ain't got no gas. You ain't me. You ain't so. The so things we've eaten. You've eaten iguana. You've eaten all types of sc random squirrels and stuff. I don't like eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Daniels makes everything taste good. I appreciate you, my boy. Let me give this a shot. Daniels makes everything taste good except iguana eggs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna close the video so I can go uh, spit this egg out in the trash, guys. Stay tuned the next episode. We're gonna enjoy the tail. Yeah, we're gonna enjoy the tail. We're gonna enjoy the the legs, but the eggs, the eggs weren't too good. For the eggs weren't too good. It's for yeah. the streets. For, they're for the streets. Catch them all. <laughs> Not bad, actually. <laughs> Catch them all. Woo! Catch them all. <laughs>